Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> All right, what do we have? We have a, quite an abundance of stuff this week in. Hello, welcome back to this week in. How's it going? <sighs> Had I done the final update on the thingy on the TV set? I know I did a whole bloody rant about it last week. I did figure out what the issue was, the whole Dolby Vision thing, but I realized the actual solution was I can just plug in the receiver straight to the TV. It doesn't need the setup. If you saw last week's This Weekend, I was talking about how uh, I'd had a problem with my Panasonic player and how the Dolby Vision would flicker on and off, whatever, or the screen would flicker on and off because of the Dolby Vision. So I've hooked the Panasonic up to the TV, I've hooked the audio into the receiver, I've hooked the, the TV into the receiver, and I've got my spare Blu-ray player, the region-free one, just kind of sitting there. <laughs> it just needs to be hooked up via HDMI cable, which my dad has currently taken. But what I was current, what I was previously doing was I was unplugging and plugging in the... Uh, HDMI cable into the receiver, you know, if I wanted to stream or wanted to watch from the top Blu-ray player, the all-region player, I'd, you know, have the receiver plugged in, but if I wanted to watch a 4K with Dolby Vision, I'd unplug the receiver. Um, some people might have already commented, I don't know, hasn't come out yet. On the receiver remote, there's a really obvious button. Uh, it's, 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 it's that one, it's called Blu-ray. Basically, you've got TV audio and you've got Blu-ray. If I just click Blu-ray while everything's plugged in, it'll go straight to the audio of the Blu-ray. It's simple as that. So I don't have to have anything unplugged anymore, which is great. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I don't know. It just Sometimes things just... If you don't do things a lot, it, you forget. Anyway, what do they get in the mail? Um, we'll start off with a dream work of three. That being The Chicken Run, The Werewolf, and The Toilet Man. Um, yeah, I got this trilogy, trilogy, this free pack. I think it's like a custom kind of set, much like the uh, Universal collection I have that includes all eight of the current released Universal Monster movies, from Frankenstein to Bride of Frankenstein to Creature of Black Lagoon. Uh, they all come with their own discs, which is nice. Um, I don't think there's too much to mention. They do all have special features, which is nice. Chicken Run, you get, um... Poultry in Motion, The Making of Chicken Run, The Hatching of Chicken Run, and a Feature Commentary. Uh, the Curse of the Were Rabbit, so Wallace and Gromit, you get deleted scenes, how Wallace and Gromit went to Hollywood, behind the scenes, Day in the Life at Ardman, How to Build a Bunny, Stage Fright and Cracking Commentary, and Deleted Scenes Commentary. Not bad. Flushed Away comes with slug sh uh, songs, the music of Flushed Away, Meet the Cast and Filmmaker Commentary. So, all in all, it's a pretty good damn good set. It's all regions. It's all Blu-ray. It's nice. I, I, I like it, you know. You get the whole back cover, which tells you all the details. I know it's not the perfect thing, but I got it for 20 bucks. So I'm like, hey, that's pretty good, because I don't own Chicken Run. I haven't had it since, like, old VHS days. I'm pretty sure. Or DVD. Early, early DVD. Um, Wallace and Gromit I currently have on DVD, and Flushed Away I haven't had on DVD since I was a child. So... Yeah, um, why not? All of them are Blu-ray. Pretty good. It's now under my DreamWorks label, which unfortunately, because the spine really emphasizes... Oh, let me... It's basically just this. So it emphasizes movie of everything, but I'm putting it under DreamWorks because they're DreamWorks. Next up, I got a really interesting steelbook. I know. I said I wasn't buying steelbooks anymore. Well, sometimes it's worth it. It was really expensive. I mean, I got it for like... Maybe sixty-five dollars, still way too much, but still, I got this uh, steelbook for um, Starship Troopers. I'll take it out of its. Yeah, someone just had it. They were just selling it on eBay, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it was mint condition, whatever. Uh, and I compared it to. Why can't I open this? Why are my nails not working today? Bloody hell. Um, I compared it to my current Blu-ray release, which is actually like the original, like the original Blu-ray release from like almost, well from over a decade ago, you know, it's a brand new 4K scan, uh, 4K UHD as well, so whatever, you get fucked out of special features that I didn't previously have, uh, wonderful glossed artwork, looks exceptional, got some great sheens to it, mmm, delicious, um, and you get the 4K disc, Blu-ray disc, which both comes with different artwork, which is really nice, 
you get the whole kick and caboodle on the sleeve, which actually details uh, special features. On the 4K disc, you get the reunion and a theatrical trailer, and on the Blu-ray disc, you get a whole bunch more. It's all, it's all written there. Wow, how cool is that? My only pet peeve, again, is that it doesn't stipulate if the commentary is on the 4K disc. It's one of those things of, like, why would I not want to watch the 4K disc with the commentary? I'm pretty sure the Blu-ray has the new scan anyway, but I'd like to watch, you know, if I'm going to watch with the commentary, I'd prefer to watch the 4K. I don't know. It's just, I guess that's just a me thing. There is no artwork on the inside of the Steelbook, which is most people's pet peeve. And honestly, I completely agree. If they were going to do no uh, artwork on the inside, they might as well just put the discs on either side. Um, and th this is for anyone in the US who wants it. Uh, I don't do digital copies, and I definitely don't do them in Australia. So go ahead and take that. So yeah, I don't need that. So go ahead, take it, whatever. But yeah, so as an overall, it's a really nice Steelbook. Um, I'm bloody happy to have it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty keen to rewatch it. I haven't watched it for a few years now, but, you know, I've watched it every couple of years because it's, it's, I don't know, Star Trek Troopers. It's a, it's a classic. I've been watching this since I was a... I'd say since I was a kid. It was a bit gnarly to watch as a kid. I mean, okay, let's say uh, early teens, I should say. I shouldn't say kid because I'm pretty sure... Uh, I forget that there's a lot of nudity in this movie. <laughs> um, so definitely after the age of, I think probably after the age of 12 I was watching this. I was probably watching this in early high school. And, you know, big deal. Hey, look, titties. Also, aliens. Also, a lot of blood and guts. It's insane. Uh, it's great. And we're watching How I Met Your Mother at the time. So, hey, look, it's Barney, you know. It's wonderful. Um, my mum actually picked this up recently because uh, she likes going op shopping. And they had roots. Uh, it was pretty cheap. So... Yeah, it's a really nice collector's set. Um, got the complete mini series collection and the gift. And if I take it all out, uh, it has a whole landslide of stuff. You've got the gift, which is a very thin case. Uh, this is region two, but again, it's not very easy to get this in Australia. I don't know. Yeah, not 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 too much on the inside of that. But then, of course, you get the original roots, or at least I'm pretty sure this is the original. Um, yeah, my my parents had watched this back when they were growing up because it's from '77. Yeah, so this is like the whole it's the an anniversary set. Comes with everything, you know. Really, I don't know, nicely detailed. Actually, it has different sides of each disc. That's really cheap. Um, God, I haven't seen DVDs do that in a long time. But yeah, so they all come in their own sleeves as well, which is really cool. Uh, it's just an overall really nice set. This is this one's the next generation. This one's got Marlon Brando and um, Irene Cara, so I, I knew that she was in that. Uh, oh, that's got a oof, bad people on it. So yeah, yeah, overall pretty nice. I was going to show this one off last, but I think I'll do it now because the the last thing is actually a box set. Um, so, someone had posted this on Marketplace, and I was a bit skeptical of it at first, but it's a Loot Crate item, which I had previously, uh, either late last, I think it was late last year for like Christmas, basically, I bought myself a Loot Crate figure from The Thing, from John Carpenter's The Thing, which was like the whole green thing, you the face melting into the face, I'm looking at it over there, but I'm not going to go pick it up, either way, Apparently from Loot Crate, they also sold these, or at least it's from Mystery Boxing, but it's actually signed by the guy who plays Windows. Like, it's a pretty authentic. It doesn't actually stipulate whether it's authentic or not, but I mean, it seems pretty legit. Um, it's quite nice, you know, you can, you can hang it. It's a bit weighty because the dish is quite uh, obscure, but, uh, you know, it comes with this whole thing. It's a whole blood-filled uh, dish, which is nice. A bit, bit, um glue permeate on the inside or whatever it's just very white on the top but that's all right yeah um the only dodgy looking part is the back because <laughs> it's like a really as you can see it's really pixelated and it's like as if a fucking child had bloody photoshop or some shit so it's like the thing blood test kit what if we are wrong about him could you be the thing yeah, it's uh, kind of awful. It is a Screen Factory artwork, or at least the artwork that they use. I'm pretty sure it's obviously commissioned by someone else, but you know. So yeah, this is a really awful back. But the front of it's fantastic. Like, the quality of this image is not the best, but at the same time, it's pretty decent. It's just kind of cool to have something that's signed by one of the cast members. Um, yeah. 
it's pretty, it's very flimsy, as you can tell by that. Like, even in the mail it came in, I was like, oh, shit, I wonder if that's a bad thing. It's like, it clearly needs to be, like, because if I hang it, it'll lean that way because this is heavy, so I need to actually, like, stick it to a wall or something. Uh, or frame it, but I'll probably just stick it to a wall. Um, I don't know which wall yet or what I can stick it to. I used to, I had these things where you could just kind of, kind of like double-sided kind of tape things. I've used them for posters. I don't know where my, my stash is gone. My stash. Uh, I used to have a whole bunch of them. I don't know where the hell they went. Like, I know I put up a bunch of posters like a month ago in my room, but I don't know where the hell I went. So, yeah, I would like to find those so I can stick this somewhere in here just as a kind of cool thing. I could always just put it on the actual, um, like a display stand like I have for like the uh, steelbooks and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, I really like the thing, so it's kind of cool. And last but not least, we have finally came in from our video. It was waiting at the airport for like two weeks. It was very weird. Like not our, not the Australian airport, the British airport. Um, but then when it was like, oh, it's now shipped, it came like two days later. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I think they're just waiting for like a big stash of international shit to post, which is kind of weird. They don't really do that anymore. Um, but anyway, I got the complete Satana. I haven't seen any of these films and I figured, hey, it was on, it was like 50% off, I think, 40% off. I don't know, they had a really good sale. It became, it was like 50, 60 bucks, I think, in total. I'm trying to think, actually. You know, I have no idea what the price is. I like to kind of like have a ballpark of, this is where the price was. I know the other two because I bought them last week. Yeah, um, uh, it comes with all five films or at least five of the uh, official Satana films. Um, I have actually changed the artwork around to the original artwork, so you got the first one, If You Meet Sartana, Pray For Your Death, they've all got very uh, outlandish names. They're all like 2K restorations, got a bunch of special features. Um, second one is I Am Sartana, Your Angel of Death. Uh, Sartana's here, uh, trade your pistol for a coffin. I think they've changed the actor by that stage. Um, have a good funeral, my friend. Satana will pay. I think this is, again, another change of actors. But then I think the same actor plays it in this one, which is Light the Fuse, Satana is Coming. This is one that's de detailed as the last official Satana movie. Last of the official Satana movies. Uh, so that says Gianni Jaco. Gianni Jaco. Oh, it's the same guy. Gianni Jaco in the first one. Gianni Jaco in the second one. <laughs> Satana returns, only this time he looks a little different. Uh, Gianni Giacco was replaced by George Hilton in the third one. Um, the fourth one is Gianni Giacco again. And the fifth one is Gianni Giacco. Okay, so it's the same guy for, for four of the movies. It's, that's not bad. And even like the alternate artwork is pretty decent. It's the same kind of deal where it m matches like the disc art, as you can see there. Um, it's more like kind of ambiguous sil silhouette kind of stuff. So it's it's got a nice trend to it. It works with the color of the box set like most our video sets do. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to go with the original artworks because they're kind of fun. Um, kind of fun. Pretty decent, I'd say. Um, it's, it's good artwork overall. I do really like the set and I've been wanting to get it for quite a while. I, I like spaghetti westerns. I just haven't watched a lot. It's one of those genres that I'm like, I've always liked because I grew up with like the Sergio Leone films. But again, there are still so many I have not seen. I'm, I've still got the Django film, The Arrow 4K, and I have not watched it yet because I was waiting to get the Dolby Vision. So I'll probably watch that soon. But uh, yeah, the Sartana set looks nice. It's, they, they're all thin, nice spines, no booklet or anything, no postcards, no poster, no nothing. Just just the films and a bunch of special features. So yeah, um, not too bad. They're overall like 95 to 100 minutes long. So that's, that's pretty good times. Like... If you, want to, if you want to smash out five films in one day, there you go. That's that's an easy way to do it. That's what I did for Shrek. They're all like hour and a half long films. I watched the second Fruit of the Fourth One plus Puss and Boots all in one day because it's like, hey, they're all on Netflix. Why not? Um, so yeah, I definitely suggest this uh, set, at least from the looks of the artwork and everything. And it is region B, probably locked. So there's that. But um, yeah, it was the one benefit of the sale because they did have that big sale, and I'm like, oh, I could get, I think it was another box that I was interested in, there were, like, two or three other sets, one of them was that J. 
Japanese guy who's into like who does like body horror, mechanized kind of body horror. Uh, I think he did like Tetsuo the Iron Man that that had sold out, and there was another box set that had sold out, and. I don't know. I think it was still, like, quite expensive to get this set alone, and I'm pretty sure it was 60 bucks. so I'm like, if I had gotten another set, it would have been, like, over 100 and I wasn't really interested in paying that much at the time, so... I don't remember what the other set was, though. It doesn't really matter. I didn't get it in the end, did I? So, yeah, that's all for now. Um, I'm expecting a pretty big week next week, if not the week after. I've got a gr big Scream Factory bundle, which took, like, a week to actually post from Amazon, and that's a rarity. They usually post pretty quickly, but I think just because so many people were buying from that sale. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, two of them, I believe, are upgrades. No, three of them are upgrades, technically. One of them's like a 4K scan of a film that I got from Imprint. So I'm like debating, do I sell the Imprint version? But I do like the Imprint artwork, and I, I think it comes with special features that aren't on the... US edition, but it just comes with a better print, so I'm waiting to watch that version, and it's also, I'm pretty sure it's a Cronenberg, so I'm getting into Cronenberg now, or at least trying to explore more directors that I have had for years, but I haven't watched, like I watched recently um, Crash and Videodrome, so then that were pretty good, so I'm, I'm you know, it's, 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 that's what I'm doing right now, yeah, so then I've bought a French box set, which was a good price because they had that on sale. Uh, but I also bought it with a big CD set, and I don't buy CD sets very often, very, very rarely. But I really like this artist, and it's like re a remastered, it's like six albums, and I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool, you know? Like, it's not really my thing, but like, if you look over at that side of the wall, you got Beatles, you got a lot of Beatles, you got Bob Dylan, you've got the Rolling Stones. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, there are so many box sets over that corner. Like, you think this is a lot. This is more. But, Dad has a lot of CDs, vinyls, and box sets all over there. A lot of them are remastered. A lot of them, a good amount of them are remastered. Say, like, the Beatles especially. Dad's a huge Beatles person. And I'm like, I kind of want to have someone of my own, not completely, uniquely my own. Like, this is an artist that my dad also likes. But, yeah, it's one of those things of, like, I, I want to have something that I can appreciate in that kind of avenue i know i have movies all right let me just continue sorry for some reason my audio stopped working there i might either use the camera audio or i'll just go i could just use the camera audio ah i'll just just cut to here um so as i was saying clearly i've got a you know a big distinguishing element but i i just wanted to have a box set of my own something that's i don't know i can show to him and be like yo what up bitch i've got my own musical box set <laughs> so it's not like it's a vinyl or anything but still but anyway i'm pretty keen for what's coming i'm really excited to rewatch Chicken Run and to check out the 4K of Starship Troopers. That could be great. And Satana, keen as shit. Um, and the thing set, I, I know it's, it seems a bit weird. It's like, oh, uh, are you sure that's a legitimate thing? And I'm like, I looked it up to make sure, like, you know, to correlate the, uh, the, um, the signatures with the online ones that you can find, whatever. And from the looks of it, it's pretty legit, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's the same with, uh, I've got an Adrian Brody one picture frame that's signed around the corner, and it's like, I got it at like a $2 shop, but at the same time, you, you know, it was an op shop, not a $2 shop. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, it's cheap as shit, came with a frame, why not? It's kind of goofy. Whether it's actually his authentic autograph or not, I don't know, but it looks like it is from what I've seen online, so... This one seems to be more authentic, I'm pretty sure, because it was in partnership with Loot Crate, so, yeah. Anyway, it's it's Windows, which is a great, he's a pretty cool character, and I'm, I do relate a bit, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. Adios.